Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to my new video. This is Sampath, you are watching Sampath Samfax YouTube channel and this is Poco X3 guys. Also applicable for NFC, you guys can see here. This is the Poco X3 or X3 NFC. You can see the Evolution X latest version for Poco X3. Actually, there is 8.0 already for some of the smartphones, but we are stuck at 7.9.9. Sorry, 0. This for Surya, unofficial build. October 5th is the latest security patch. We are in October 30, like that that's the version baseband version you can read kernel version is 4.14.320 is the kernel this is the friday october 27th build a latest one you can see the build date also and ceiling status is enforcing and this is typical home screen you get this is the quick settings panel you get in the edit section you get multiple options you can see here you can drag and add them or if you want to remove do the vice versa here you get a settings panel it is also smoothly optimize maybe this is the last android 13 build for poco x since i am doing this review you guys can see for poco x this is the last android 13 build of evolution x which is going to be great here okay battery i'm just using now i would have done before anyhow open ended up battery settings here go to all apps and select here echo battery don't optimize done now we'll see some of the results here as you can see also charge the smartphone here we'll see some of the results first and the benchmark results you can see 4 lakh 11 thousand six hundred and ninety four is the score and temperature raise was 3.3 degrees celsius and three percentage of battery has been dropped during this entire testing of android benchmark results which is fine in my opinion not great but not bad also this is the geek score 745 is the single score and 1854 is the multi score and linux 4.14.320 is the kernel use and this is an android 13 build guys not a android 14 as of now and dialer you get a simple google dialer you also get a direct video call feature and also you can make the call and you also get the call recording feature but it will announce the other person that you are recording the call this how the uh, results i want to show the cpu throttling test also as you can see for 15 minutes this is a 100 thread test case average is around 166 and minimum is 123 and maximum is 188 million jps and you can see it's throttled to 79 percent of its max performance in this particular rom which is quite interesting i haven't seen any yellow lines that much and red lines nothing here so the performance is very good and cpu throttling results are also very good in this particular rom you also get the google pay i mean in order to use that you need to check the safety net status we'll check that as you can see it get passed you can use all the payment applications like google pay phone pay whatever you want to use those going to work fine even the drm information will show you here as you can see level 1 certified has hence you can watch all the audit application in high definition resolution there is no problem regarding that to uh, echo battery results i already shown you won't get any file manager app you can use any file manager app. but i recommend to use this google files you can manually install in the play store here this how the benchmark results and you also get fm radio pre-installed here that's the ui smoothness everything let's go into settings and see what are the settings we get in the evolver it's going to be similar to previous versions i will not going into deep here you can change some of the theming settings here even dark theme you get a, a dedicated option to choose pitch black condition or else some of the presets are been given you can check out those things that's really matters for me and uh, theming settings again you get plenty of options here luminance chroma and tint background you can adjust other settings also you can customize and status bar again if you want a lyric to be shown there you want to enable here clock style date logo again you get plenty here you can position them left or right and you can see the type of available options here battery style battery person battery bar is given status bar icons other customization colored icons and other things has been given in the status bar customization notifications again you get plenty here too quick settings also you get mini yeah power menu again advanced restart button is been given if want you can disable that from here gestures shortcuts in the system settings system navigation into gesture navigation you get both the options to increase the pill length and the radius you can see here and other options are also given here uh, like one-handed mode double tap swipe to three finger screenshot all those things have been 
given in the cases settings and lock screen settings again ambient mist checker if you want you can enable or disable them it's lighting if you want that you can even do that and uh, other settings you can see here animations again quite similar miscellaneous settings you get both the options to increase the high fps in the games also unlimited photo storage and some of the other settings you can see on the screen this is how the evolver settings so moving into actual settings you get a battery here battery saver you can see battery usage currently it's fine if you want you can use the pixel kind of chart it will be showed after some time pixel kind of chart if you want that you can enable or disable from here battery saver again you can schedule it out based on percentage and other things extreme battery saver is missing here battery optimization perhaps you can choose from here sleep mode is given if you want to see the temperature you can see battery widget you can directly add them into the home screen again sound and vibration you can see uh, smart pause is given like caption media player vibration and haptics you get individually you can customize them even the patterns are also included here and other settings like sound enhancer direct sound setting you can even choose the headphone type and the preset from here also you can enable the hi-fi audio system from here this all the sound settings you get and display settings you get plenty as you can see again dark theme i already explained here screen timeout lock screen and extra dim features are been given colors you get just three things here and minimum maximum and low power refresh rate you can keep from 30 to 120 hertz those are also included here full screen apps if certain app is not playing in the full screen you can enable from here this all the display settings you get and wallpaper and style you won't get any separate customization as we see in the android 40 for that you need to wait another build that's going to be 8.0 by the way i guess first time if you're visiting my channel hit that subscribe button down below and also the also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it a like guys and you get this kind of combination of colors themed icon as you can see now here icons will be themed like this app grid it's available from 2 into 2 to 6 into 10 is available icon pack system fonts again you get plenty i always keep it to google sans medium to look a little bit better uh, that's how the display and other wallpaper and style accessibility menu again size and text you can customize from here bold text if you want you can enable or disable from here magnification select to speak extra dim feature talkback feature accessibility menu shortcut feature also you can enable or disable from here by enabling here you get plenty of options from here timing control system controls live captions caption preferences audio description audio adjustment or accessibility shortcuts texture specs output is also given from here security options you get face and fingerprint unlock let me show you that fingerprint unlock first as you can see it's very quite easy to unlock your smartphone let's see the face unlock here uh, quickly we'll do the face unlock as you can see face unlock is also quite fast meanwhile i downloaded the bgma complete version here face unlock is working fine and fingerprint unlock will show that as you can see fingerprint unlock is also quite fast here to unlock your smartphone using that we'll see once again face unlock as you can see it's quite fast here we'll see the bgmi how it handles i already loaded it as you can see here the graphics is set to smooth plus 90 fps option as you can see it's quite interesting and quite good here let me increase a little bit of brightness yeah is it visible yeah We'll see how it handles actually the performance in this particular ROM, Evolution X ROM, guys. Okay, my teammate got him. Yeah, I got two kills here. It's a little bit difficult in this position to play but anyhow this how the gameplay i really like this kind of from the evolution x 7.7.9 uh, version this is the latest available for poco x3 slash nfc here it's quite good rom available right now with android 13 this is going to be a last version this is going to be a last version for poco x that to android 13 based build this is the evolution x guys i hope i explained everything in detail i definitely recommend 
statement this rom for daily driver if you are not going to use that android 14 right now then you can use this android 13 and use it for a couple of months then once the android 14 is settled like this you can jump to that that's all guys in this video if you have any specific questions comment down in the comment section below also you can join out whatsapp group telegram group and that's it guys in this video we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keeps smelling bye bye for now Thank you.